Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we bring to you guys a nutrition video based off of macros. I present you guys Shelly Hollis. He is owner of Sussex. He is my trainer, my coach, my friend. He is all of the above mentor. Um, he's very knowledgeable oh, so in nice. that <laughs> in that industry. And we wanted to share a couple of tips and pretty much describe and explain what macros are and how to calculate them. If you guys have any questions after this whole video and, and you know, the whole thing after we explain it, you guys can still comment down below and ask away. Well, let's get started. All right. So um, tell them what you know about macros. <laughs> what do you know? Uh, I know that I need to eat. <laughs> <laughs> so pretty much macros are macronutrients. They are protein, fats, carbs, and that's it. That's, your that's it. Macro, much, right? So yeah. macro pretty much means large, you guys, right? There's two categories. There's like you hear macro and you hear micro. micro. So macro is what your body essentially needs, right? So your protein, your carbohydrates, and your fats. Mm -hmm. And the way they're broken down is actually broken down scientifically. So they're all broken down into grams. So one gram of... Protein equals four calories, and then one gram of carbohydrates equals four calories. And then the one that's really big is fat, essential fats, of course, right? Those are nine calories for every gram of fat. We all love fats. I'm just kidding. These are actually really good fats. Right. So, <laughs> and then speaking of fats, like fats are extremely healthy for you. Don't get like confused by people that are like fat free, things like that. Yeah. Like the only fat that you should be really concerned about is trans fat. Trans fat is the one that you don't want. That's something like, think of something that's like, created and not natural it doesn't come from like Perseverance. nuts or olive oils or things like that mm -hmm. so that's the only concern when it comes to fat but it is extremely like essential when it comes to like energy production it comes to cushioning your organs and it comes to uh, just natural energy so yeah that's kind of like for example keto how um it's a high fat low carb diet so it's like you know right and speaking of that mm -hmm. so with keto like a lot of people were like okay well you know ultimately you want to lean out or you want to lose weight mm -hmm. well with keto typically their proportion of calories comes majority from healthy fats and then their carbohydrates and their protein is less and that's very successful for individuals that are looking at primarily just losing weight mm -hmm. but for those of you your people like yourself where you're actually competitive you have to have more balance and that's yeah. where macros come into play because, carb cycling right because you need more you need carbs for production mm -hmm. as far as your cardio as far as your lifting. And then you also need protein because while you're trying to lean, you need protein in order to maintain and retain the muscle that you have yeah. while losing the fat. Mm -hmm. So all of this is very like scientifically based and every diet out there is going to be unique and specific to the individual. Exactly. So if me and her ate the same thing we every day, do. Which, which we kind of <laughs> do. Like one thing about me helping her out is I wanted to make sure that like whatever she was going through, I was going through. So throughout her prep and her planning, like I made sure that I pretty much ate like 80 to 90% of whatever she was doing on a daily. I did the same thing. And what you can see from it is just like, we both get two totally different results exactly. because of our body anatomy. Um, He's obviously a male, I'm a female. Female, exactly. Uh, you have to take in consideration like your ethnic background, you take into mm -hmm. consideration what your you know genetic makeup is from your parents too. Some people's bodies react different to certain diets and some people's bodies act different to different types of workouts as mm -hmm. well. So. Take everything as just information, as a process to learning exactly. what works for you. And then that's how you move forward. Yeah. Everybody has different, um, like, for example, your macros are going to be different than mine will technically be different than his. Right. Um, everybody always asks me, like, what? how do you calculate them? How do you do this? Um, for example, me, I've tried the keto diet. I've tried Whole30. I've tried the macros. Mm -hmm. And so far, I feel like macros has been, like, the best, you know, besides keto. Keto, I've you know, I did it with him too, and it was freaking amazing, but macro is probably the best way to go for me. And macro is extremely easy for you guys to read too, right? Like there's simple rules of thumb. Um, you can go online and you guys can learn, like everything has like a formula to how mm -hmm. it works. So let's, for instance, let me do something easy. Uh, so say you wanted to weigh 120 pounds. Um, the rule of thumb is something typically simple. Like when it comes to protein, you want one gram of protein per body pound or, or body weight. So if you're 120, you want to have like 120 grams of protein and you can do the same for your carbs and then with fats now that's the only particular number you want to play with right so what i typically do for people to kind of see how their body reacts is like if they want to weigh 120 i'll be like okay eat 120 grams of carbs 120 grams of protein and then i would divide their fat in half so then like i would say 60 grams right mm -hmm. but all of this adds up to something so let's let's do a 120 pound person for them if you're eating 120 pounds of 120 grams of carbs and protein right so mm -hmm. We're looking at 120, 
what is that? So we're at 120 by four. Let's see. You're at 480 calories Dang, from protein. And then, Jesus, right. you don't even okay. need a calculator. Yeah, so, so you'll get, so, <laughs> so 480 will be from protein. And if you're doing the same amount of carbs, you're going to get 480 again from the carbohydrates. Mm -hmm. And you multiply that already. So now we're looking at, you're at 920 calories. Oh, that's calories. Right. Yeah. And then if you're doing 60 grams of fat. Times nine. Times nine. 540. Right. So that's 540 calories mm -hmm. from fat. So let's multiply plus. all of that. Multiply? Well, add, add addition, right? Okay. Are simple. So, so 540 plus 480? Mm-hmm. 1020. What, another 480? You're oh, missing yeah. your carbs? 1500. Right. So a person wanting to weigh 120 pounds, let's take a female, for instance, or a male. They work the same. Yeah, that's normally size. around the same. Like, it's typically like 1500 to 2500 or something like yeah, that. Yeah, but usually. even, but that's a huge difference because you're talking about 1,000 calories. So yeah. 1500 calories for an individual that wants to walk around at 120 pounds. Mm -hmm. And now the reason why like macros are significant is like say you were trying to compete for a comp or you wanted to lose more weight, mm -hmm. it's so easy to start just minusing macros and taking away calories that way and then kind of gauging your weight loss. So if you don't know, like little things like a pound of fat has, what are we at? Um, calories oh. wise. No, like no, no. Stuff? No, I think a pound of fat is 3,500 calories, right? I'm not sure. Let's double check for the people. But while I'm checking that, there she, also is calculators that can calculate your macros too, based off of your weight and your goal weight. And I always mention that because it's a lot easier and it kind of just helps you out. And then I'll teach you guys and we'll show you guys what we mean by macros and how to calculate it. If you're pretty much writing it down or even an app that helps you um, calculate your macros. Yeah, true. Okay, so back to my point. There's 3,500 calories in a pound of fat on your body, wow. right? So you think about that, like there's seven days a week. If you're trying to create a deficiency of lose a pound of week, then you would have to be deficient 500 calories, right? So that's where macros come into play. So you as a person, as an individual from the time that you wake up, through going out through your work day or working out, if you do burn 2000 calories a day and you're only taking in 1500 through your macros, then that's that 500 calorie yeah. deficiency. And then that by seven days, is gonna get you to lose a pound of fat, hopefully just fat per week. Mm -hmm. and, and when I say that, like, yeah, there's going to be a deficiency, but based on what type of foods that you're taking in, it's going to have a lot to do with the results as far as like how much muscle retention you keep and how much fat that you're actually burning. So macros is always going to be the safest way to help you lose weight and also determine what's working for you as an individual. Mm -hmm. And then you can play like if your energy levels are low, you may not need more fat for energy. You may want something like carbs because carbs are more like simple. You know what I mean? And those break down complex, into sugar yeah. faster. Right. Simple. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? There's like and think of that when they say simple and complex carbs, it's really just that like yeah. complex means like. They're going to take longer to break down. And well, when they say simple carbs, mm -hmm. it's usually like one thing of sugar or yeah. two fruits. A lot of people um, are always like, oh, carbs are bad for you. There's no. no. There, it depends what kind of carbs you're eating. Too. Yeah. And everything is carbs too. Like so yeah. fruit, that's carbs. Um, any type of sweetener, that's a carbs. Honey, those other things, carbs. Yeah, um, candy is carbs. Grains are Nuts. carbs. Yeah. Um, so it's like you can't stay away from it. Breads are carbs. It's just really within your numbers mm -hmm. and which particular carbs that you decide to take exactly. in. And even some type of vegetables are carbs too. Mm -hmm. Even fiber is in the carbohydrates category, what a lot of people don't know. But one thing about fiber is your body doesn't break that down for essential energy and stuff. It just helps with like digestions and various things and keeping you full. And that goes into the category of things that are complex. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's a lot of things like people think like, oh, you know, and then that's the thing. It's like because we base it off of bread, for example, mm -hmm. carbs are bad or let me just not do carbs. No, you need carbs for your, you, you know, do. in your diet. And you need them for production too. Mm -hmm. Like if, for instance, for someone like her who's doing sprints or someone that is doing the weight training that she's specifically doing. I am in a low like carb diet, but it's like, right. that's different because I'm competing. You know, that's why it, it mm -hmm. just determines what you're doing. And carbs are going to give you energy right now mm -hmm. where things like complex like carbs and things like that. Yeah. Those yeah. are going to break down over time, duration of hours throughout the day, but simple carbs, things that are fast, you mm -hmm. know, when it comes to like honeys and sweeteners and fruits and mm -hmm. sugars and those type of things, those are going to be like ingested into your system extremely fast. And that's going to give you actually a faster reaction when it comes to production time. So, yeah, true. and you can feel it too. I mean, everyone knows like when you're like hungry, are you down on something? And sometimes you eat a specific thing like mm -hmm. carbs and you're just like, <laughs> wow, I feel so much better. Yeah. And that's just how Our it energy works. energy levels. Yeah. It's like when I don't have carbs, like, cause I have a carb cycling diet right now. And it's like, when I don't have carbs, I'm like depleted, just like energy levels are kind of low. And then I have carbs and I'm like, whoa, oh my God, it's like super energetic. 
it might sound like dramatic, but it's it's crazy. Mm-hmm. It's crazy. Um, a lot of people um, they been, they were asking about cravings. Like, what do you do when you crave something sweet? Um, I can't say how oh, sweet, man. That's hard. That's just something. I don't that really you're... crave sweetness. Know, yeah, I'm not a sweet tooth person. I'm more of a ah, what are you? What I like. <laughs> peanut <don't> butter <laughs> but if you are okay but for instance like you on comp diet like i always tell people that i help out if you get hungry like oh eat, yeah eat more protein that's eat, what he always tells me eat more protein because at the I same time like protein is also like essential because it breaks that's where we get our amino acids from everything's that are like building blocks for muscle and things like that comes from protein and obviously more from meat-based proteins and i know some people are on plant-based diets you can still get a great protein source but it's just different because of the essential like Fatty acids and B, because of the meat, how they break down into aminos, they do just provide more of a natural and a better source and of protein. don't you lose a lot more, like, well, fat faster when you consume more protein? Or um, You do, that? and then, like, it's just, like, when you create that, defi- you know, like, that deficiency from all your work and stuff, like, you have to keep your protein high if mm-hmm. you are very focused on being lean and keeping a certain amount of lean. muscle, uh-huh. right? But then if you're an individual where, like, you're just athletic and you choose to do more running and things like that, then what's going to work for you is actually having um, a nutrition plan that's actually higher in carbs Mm -hmm. just because of your output. But if you're someone that's looking that you're going to be doing a lot of explosion and contraction, then you want to have those, you want to have higher protein and then you want to have a lot of essential healthy fats. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that's pretty much where you are with that. Yeah. And then understanding it like, okay, for instance, right now, um, Myra has a few examples of food and things like that. So you're going to have like these nutrition tables on the back of everything that we eat. Yeah. You pretty much calculate everything. With the you, once you start getting into all of this, you're gonna be reading the labels like all the time, and, and that's just the way I see it. Yeah, and then write that down. So, mm-hmm. for instance, if you had this, how many like grams of protein? So are you having? grams, twenty five grams of protein in this kind, like this little package. And then how much carbs? Carbs, it's twelve grams of carbs okay. and total fat, two point five grams. So from your day, if you were at one twenty, one twenty, and sixty, you already know you got twenty five grams of protein. So you can start like. Minusing what you've already into so throughout that's the day. So ninety-five grams left. Right. So mm-hmm. towards the end of the day, you can look at what you've been tracking with your macros and know specifically exactly what you need to fulfill like your nutritional goals and your needs for the day. So yeah. that's how that works. You can go the package. It's and then super look. simple. Um, obviously, it does take time, and but there's also apps like My Fitness Pal where you can literally scan this and it'll you input your pretty much your macros that you need for the day, and it'll deduct it. Or you can, like me, I used to write it down if that's better for you and just, you know, manually do it. Um, It all tells you, you know, the ingredients on it, the protein, total fat, and the calories is 170 per container for this. Um, That's one thing. Peanut butter, I mean almond butter. This one has total fat 16 grams and then total carbs 7 grams. Protein is seven grams per serving. The serving size is two tablespoons or 32 grams. So that's another thing that you guys have to look at. Um, you guys can't, I mean, I I can't say I'm perfect and I'm not. I love peanut butter and I'll grab tablespoons and stuff, but it's always good to measure because then you can overdo it. And like I said, it's healthy fats, but still, if you go over your fats, it's like. Yeah, it's different. It is. And then, you know, one thing about the fats too is like, because they're so high in calories, right? So say like yeah, you're not losing. Yeah, 190 calories. Yeah, and then you can start dropping from those grams. Like I may have had her at 60, but like you take away five grams of fat, that's 45 calories extra per day. So yeah. you get how that starts adding up. Or if you take away 10 grams and I put her at 50, now that's 90 additional calories that she does not have in her diet. Mm-hmm. So that's the one thing with macros. You can start pulling and playing based on like your needs and your activity level as exactly. well. So if it's different. If I'm working out four days a week and she's working out six, then obviously like her metabolic rate, what she intakes, what she does, her results are going to be completely different mm-hmm. because it has a lot to do with your intensity, your height, your weight, your size, and various things. Um, exactly. There's something called BMR. Um, you can find BMR calculators on Google. A lot of them are free. What you can do is input like your height, your weight, and your age. And then some get a little bit more detail where you can actually like be specific with your activity levels. Mm -hmm. And what that is going to do for you is it's actually going to tell you like what you need, like your body's calorically daily daily to like maintain the actual size you are based on the inputs that you place as far as your activity levels and, you know, weight and size like that. So that could be a great starting point for you. And then after this, once you learn this stuff, you guys, like you have to be like so natural, just going to come. Yeah, and you, you know it. Like, you know yourself, you learn this. Any type of, like I tell all the time, if you take training, if you get a nutritionist, you work with people, these yeah. people are actually 
you're investing in yourself. You're exactly. paying to learn mm -hmm. what to do for the rest of your life. Or what works for you, what certain diets work for you. But like I said, we tried the keto, the Whole30. Mm -hmm. They're all different diets, right. very different. And to me, I feel like the keto has worked and then the macros for sure. And then also being active. You don't have to be active, but if as long as you're, you know, consuming what you need during like the whole day, that's that's all you need. Yeah. Healthy stuff, of course. <laughs> and then what else is there about macros that we can share with everyone uh, besides the questions they can ask you and then you can tell them or I can help them later? How to st how do you stay motivated, like clean eating? Man, I, I don't know. I, the self-discipline, I think. Discipline, yeah. yeah. Like how, what keeps just, you disciplined? Yeah, it is truly, a, it's truly like one of those sacrifices that you guys will appreciate once it's you reach your goals. It's not motivation, it's discipline. Yeah, and then it's just like um, the feeling. I think you have to reach that level for yourself to mm -hmm. understand how good you'll feel being like optimal as far as like being able to perform. Um, being comfortable with yourself, helping your self-esteem and your confidence, um, mm -hmm. those type of things that that's something that you're going to have to feel for self, like someone else's success. It's like it may be a goal because you see it and you're like, one day I want to achieve that. But when you do it for yourself, I promise you. Like, yeah. <laughs> I was telling him, I said, after this comp, I'm like, I, I want everyone to try to do a bikini prep or not yeah. bikini, but, you know, yeah, like anything. the prep. Yeah. Any, any goal you have, <laughs> or you know, right, to achieve that, a hike like, you want to go, give vacation. yourself, yeah, like certain amount of time to do it, just do it and then you can like this is doable for everyone uh -huh. everyone like all the <laughs> we all say things like oh everybody in my family's big oh, i'm big bone i'm no, this like no. i was big bone too <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah and you look at someone she was always someone that was Fit. extremely into fitness Supposedly. and things like that and you know she can post a before and after picture you want but even for her and her frame like in a five month period we were able to take off 25 pounds yeah and that's crazy because not a lot of people are like wait you took out what you were small yeah. already anything she worked out for at the same long, fluctuated yeah. for the same weight for five years consistently until she dialed in her nutrition exactly. and then in and did both and like one is not better than the other you do need weight training mm -hmm. and you do need cardio exactly and you need to find various ways of working out to keep the body adaptive keep it changing and mm -hmm. things like that and to keep yourself motivated too because that's yeah. also a big thing about motivation. results keep you motivated for sure oh, it's yeah. like just, <laughs> yeah, right. and then just the feeling yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. i feel like um it's not easy, obviously. It's freaking hard because there's cravings. Um, there is healthier alternatives, and I've already – I've had videos that you can – well, actually, no, those – I'll do that later where it's, like, healthy or, like, sweet stuff, but they're not bad, like mm -hmm. dark chocolate, sugar-free syrup, or yeah. things like that that you can – yeah, and it's put not, into and, your and, diet. And I see, and that's also a good point too. It's like it's not that strict, like in a no. sense of like a, yeah. And add that People in, like if you that. have chocolate or you do some things like that, start adding that into your like yeah. into your. It's you like, know, I, like your, I usually get like Trader Joe's dark chocolate. It's like a Koa. Um, what is it? One hundred ninety calories for ten pieces. Yeah, that's a lot. That's a lot. But you don't even yeah. So you don't even do that. No. Yeah. So you guys can still live like a healthy lifestyle. Mm -hmm. Still have your days where you eat what you want exactly. and things like that. Just make small changes. Um, the other biggest thing I could say uh, also with nutrition is like you guys water intake like oh, that's where a lot of people goodness. fail is like yes. that I makes such to, a huge difference let's um, I think I used to only literally maybe drink this much which is probably a 24 ounce <clears throat> at most right now I'm at a gallon and a half at, I yeah. think that's insane no it is it's a, it makes it's a, it makes a huge difference you yeah. guys will see a difference with like uh, metabolism you will see a difference with your like your skin, skin your hair everything little your things body. natural things you're, you know like going to the restroom things like that mm -hmm. cleansing yourself like mm -hmm. it just helps us so much your kidneys your liver it's like you have to do it you guys yeah, um, set so a goal many benefits. Um, you know 100 ounces may sound like a lot now but it really isn't and if mm -hmm. you're living an active lifestyle this is something that you guys need to be very functional and staying hydrated and exactly. things like that so. yeah water is freaking <laughs> good for you yeah but no you guys macros is extremely easy it's all it's been in front of your face for the longest yeah, time don't complicate things a lot of people think it's so hard or like oh my god what is it no it's super super easy even like your meats or stuff it's like four ounces normally depending on what you get right. it's like typically like let's say right now sway is 14 gram 14 grams of protein for a four ounce or tilapia it's like more protein like 20 grams and then chicken is more i think 24 for four ounces <coughs> it all depends and everything has a label so that is freaking helpful for you know makes it everything easier yeah so like i said you guys this is very simple we're trying to keep it easy for you and if you have like questions like do you google this stuff it's all over the internet mm -hmm. um 
And it's truly like an experience that you have to do and you got to learn for yourself. Yeah. I'm sure you should uh, throw a couple links below. Oh, yeah. I'll throw in the BMR calculator, the macro, the, my fitness pal, mm -hmm. and all the social media links that in case you guys have any questions, you guys can always reach out to us and ask. Um, I did have people like, you know, post the little things so we can <coughs> ask questions, but I only got a few. Yeah. <laughs> but I know that everybody's always concerned about what to eat or like, how would um there is one question what would you recommend people beginning like starting like how would they like from nowhere they're you know they've never ate healthy mm -hmm. how would they start to, how would they start like oh, what man. you what do you recommend them to I start i mean you know like why? we've been seeing pyramid like little pyramid tables since we were kids that's <laughs> all that stuff no one pays attention eliminating to. things for sure yeah you have to like yeah. you're like simple like you guys we all understand Soda. like your yeah sodas and juices um mm -hmm. Because all of your that alcohol has intake. so much. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, wine's nice, sophisticated, and relaxing, but wine comes with its calories. Alcohol I, mm -hmm. has calories, too. It's yeah, like, seven, gra it's calories seven grams per gram. It's, yeah, yeah it's, uh, it's seven calories per gram yeah. of alcohol. So, like, you guys, we all heard, and we know what to do. Don't think you're going to stop eating bread and things like that. Just oh, make no. better choices. Exactly. Like, you get pizza, get thin crust. You mm -hmm. get a hamburger, maybe sometimes you go protein, go protein style. style. Sweet and potato keep, fries. And then keep the fries. Um, mm -hmm. It's so small. It's so small, like the changes you'll make. Little if changes. you make pasta, you, maybe you're making pasta with more meat and less noodles, mm -hmm. you know, like it's just those type of things. And then ideally, like create an image in your head. Like, I don't know, maybe you're 150 pounds and your goal is to be 130. Okay, cool. Just design your macros based on 130. Mm -hmm. The simple rule of thumb, like honestly, it goes between like, if you look it up, there's going to be like a calculator between 0.75 and 1.25. I always just use the number one because it's easy for people to understand. It's easy to follow. So again, you guys can revert back to that 120 pound girl that we we're talking about. And maybe that's not for you. If it's 130, 135, yeah. 135 grams of protein, carbs, divide the fat by two at 70. And when you want to start taking stuff away after you reach that goal or you plateau, take a little bit of fat away. Take a little bit of carbs away and then mm -hmm. see what changes you'll make. Because if your activity level stays the same and your food stays the same, there's going to come to a point where nothing changes. Yeah, make slightly changes depending on how you're you're seeing your results yeah, and too. and that's it. And you can do this. And mm -hmm. then maybe may the change that happens for you because of like what permits in your schedule is you can be more active or you do something that you're pushing to another level. So then at that point... You're burning more calories, but mm -hmm. the food hasn't changed. But if you're doing exact, if you're doing everything that you can be doing for yourself and nothing's changing, then that's when you start playing with your numbers. Yeah. You start taking away from your macros, and then you should see some type of level of success. Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. thanks for having me on your YouTube. <laughs> huh, I'm just messing with you. <laughs> but no, you guys, okay. seriously, you guys have any questions? This girl has accomplished a lot. She's mm -hmm. done very well for herself, and um, she's the type of person that if she doesn't know. She will look it up and provide you guys with like the accurate information. Yeah. So, yeah. And Good I love, luck. we love, we both love helping people. And, you know, you just have to put in the work. Let me just put it that way. Mm -hmm. We are not going to do it for you. No. You could only get so motivated to do something. It's just consistency. Yeah. Just be consistent. And use whatever tool you have. Like yeah. if it's a friend, if your support group is through online, mm -hmm. if you have, um, for instance, Apple equipment, like I have a watch, like, I track anything. If I walk my dog, I track it. If I go for a bike ride, I track it. If I work out, mm -hmm. when you can see like your progress it's or like, you can be honest with mm -hmm. yourself and look on your phone and be like, oh, wow, I only did 20 workouts this month. But last month I did 36. It's like you're like, whoa, that's crazy. Mm -hmm. Like we went from ha doing like 10 workouts a day because we're so busy. We own our own a business. Month. A month. I mean, oh, yeah, sorry. A day I was like, oh, Dang, homie. <laughs> almost um, to 50 workouts a month. Mm -hmm. There's Keep this in mind. There's 30 days in a month, 30 to 31 days. That's yeah. What crazy. was your your highest was? Uh, fifty five. Right. Yeah. Workouts in one month. In one month. And those are split. Like she may have did cardio in the morning and did a workout in the evening. So uh -huh. like two per day. If you did that five days a week, that's mm -hmm. ten. But you can see where that's going. And like I said, that was in her position as becoming a fitness competitor. Mm -hmm. You for your healthy lifestyle, it may be different. Four uh, days. Thirty minutes a day at least. That's or it. Something. Four or five days a week might be all you need, or Set three a, days a week is uh, all you need. What is it? Like a realistic goal for yourself. Like if you know you're super busy, don't do too much. Mm -hmm. Don't put yourself at a high, like, like oh, shit, and then be disappointed because you didn't reach right. out. Right. And then little things. Uh, if you need motivation that way, maybe you're a runner or you compete in something, you do CrossFit. Uh, when things get better, when COVID's done, stuff mm -hmm. like that, sign up for competitions. Yeah. Give yourself a goal that may be two months out. Like, for instance, for exactly. her, since it shows, she knows now her next show is eight weeks away. So obviously, mentally, she's prepping herself mm -hmm. to be in that position to do well at her mm -hmm. particular show. So maybe that's what pushes you, or maybe it's just your kids, your family, or the lifestyle mm -hmm. you choose to yeah, lead. Yeah, being there for them healthy, because it's like health is wealth. Yeah. And nowadays, it's mm -hmm. 
And then crazy. if you're in the family, maybe this is a good time. You educate everybody in the family on how this works or you start cooking different. If you're doing it for yourself, then honestly, it's going to take a little bit more self-discipline because yeah. when your friends are all eating whatever the hell they want, <laughs> it is extremely hard. So some parties you might show up with your own food or sometimes you might not go. But that's the choice you make for yourself. Mm -hmm. Or if you do go make the right choices like yeah. the, they have protein just have protein yeah i do it at my veggies. family parties all the time mm -hmm. i eat like all their meat that's it and these little things that help you and stay on track you know even like just in general a lot of things it's so much to talk about that yeah. you know but not other than that man just uh yeah if you have any questions leave them below talk to her um, he has a youtube channel as well i'll put it down below and he does pretty cool stuff yeah so I'll let you guys know but yeah thanks for having <laughs> me dude you're welcome and good Thank luck you to for you guys everything. <laughs> I hope he explained to you guys, um, you know, exactly what it, he he's always been so good about explaining things. I just hope you guys understand. And like I said, ask questions. And yes, he'll probably be on here again soon. Oh, yeah. Talking yeah. about another subject. Yeah. Um, in the meantime, don't forget to like and subscribe and follow him on social media and subscribe to his channel as well. And we will see you guys in the next video. Thank you. Bye. Awesome sauce.